Scott, why did things uh, turn in their favor there in the second quarter? Uh, turnovers. Turnovers cost us. But we started the game actually pretty solid. And then that second half of that first quarter, we just gave them uh, a lot of freedom, a lot of movement. They were, they were playing free. Uh, they're out of nowhere guy. Milton came in and hit five threes in that first half, 71 points. We've been playing pretty good defense uh, for the last, you know, 15 games or so. But th tonight, the, the defensive disposition, that second, you know, that 18 minutes of that uh, first half, uh, take away the first six minutes was not like we've been playing and gave them a lot of confidence. And, you know, we then, then we had a chance to cut it and we missed a bunch of good looking threes. And and then they hit they hit some threes that were important to, to you know, keep the lead or extend the lead. What did they do to limit Brad tonight? Um, they were they were putting bodies around them. They were loading up the paint. They're big. They got a big, their five is big. And he, he's a very, I don't know if he gets enough credit for how good he is of seeing things and, and playing big and clogging up the middle. It's hard to score over him. And when we're not making, you know, threes, uh, that's, it's a, it's a tough night. They're going to load the paint up and we gotta, we gotta do a, a better job of, of stepping in and making some making some of those threes with confidence, I thought, thought I thought we had a chance a, a couple of times to to keep it close in that second quarter, and we couldn't get enough of them, and then we didn't get enough to fall as well. Ava, Scott, sorry, I don't mean to sound dense. Could you elaborate on what you mean, um, just when you t talk about defensive disposition? Yeah, we were just we were just they were running their offense. Uh, they weren't worried about uh, going through us. Uh, there wasn't enough. There just wasn't enough physicality. Not necessarily we have. You have to foul, but you gotta. You gotta make them think about their reads instead of just playing through them. And they 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 got they got a lot of just. They got comfortable in that in that. Um, last 18 minutes of the first half but a lot of it a lot of it was also our turnovers you know we had we had too many turnovers that led to easy points i think 22 points in turnovers and that's first in that first half that's not that's not good enough um but we cut the lead and then we gave up a back door we cut the lead again and gave up a three so those are things that we you know when we don't have our stuff you can't give them cheap stuff. And then we, I thought we gave them too many easy, easy buckets when we were making a little bit of a run. Did you see the turnovers was just off of trying to rush into getting points back and, and that kind of thing? Yeah. I mean, Russell, Russell turned it over too many times. You know, he's, he's averaging, I think four and a half, five, four point something. Uh, too many. He, he settled down the second half. I think he only had one in the, in the second half. Uh, but th th there's too many turnovers, you know, Brad had six. I mean, that helped, that helped them, um, you know, 32 points off of our, our turnovers, but we didn't have, we didn't have the, the right mindset to, in that, that first quarter. And I mean, the uh, second half of that first quarter, and we, ha we have to be better. We have to be better. We don't, we don't have the luxury to to wait on things we got to dictate how we play and i thought they had they had they had their way all night long and we were we were scrambling and and just playing from behind throughout every possession fred scott you you pulled uh garrison and mo for the second half what went into that decision you just needed something different it wasn't their fault we were down 14 we just needed something different and, and then it thought it worked there for a second and then they we made a couple of mistakes and and they jumped back up on us by 16 or 18. um we got to keep trying things you know we have some flexibility at, at those spots and we need we need a better Rui. Uh, we need a better everybody i mean this is 
I mean, we're, we've been pretty good. We've had a lot of games, uh, but we had a day off yesterday. Uh, we didn't, this team, this team, this team just beat somebody by 50. So we knew, we knew how good they were. Uh, like I said, we, we, we were seemed like we were chasing them all night long. And that's not, that's not what we've been doing the last month of the, of the season. And, and you mentioned the Russell turnovers. He's, he's actually, he's averaging a, a career high turnover rate so far this year, coming into tonight, even what, why do you think he's, he's struggled with that more than usual this year? Well, he's, I mean, not only him, it's the league top 10 turnover guys. I mean, you take every single one of them They're They make a lot of plays for their team and Russell's no different. I mean, he's, he's probably, he's averaging one more turnover than I would like, you know, he should be in the high threes. I don't know if he was ever in the fours uh, with me, maybe, maybe low fours, uh, my last stop, but he needs to, he needs to be better. He knows. Uh, but a lot of it is still filling uh, his way with our guys. I know that's it's been a it's been a, a long. Uh, we've been together for, you know for quite some time now, but we have to figure it out. We can't give this team. I think they had 22 points in, off of our turnovers in that first half, and you know the second half we played them even. We played them. We played them pretty even. Uh, take away the last. You can just take away the, those, like I said, those 18 minutes in that first half. Sometimes you don't, you don't look at that, but that was the game. We gave them everything they wanted, and they were comfortable. They were confident going into that second half, and it was because of that. I thought we started the game off you know, pretty good. I think we were up 18 to 12, 18 to 10, something like that. Matt. Hey, Scott, just following up on um, Russell's turnovers, a lot of them come – uh, during the first half specifically, you had seven in the first half tonight. Just what do you see? Is it an urgency thing? Is he trying? Is he pressing too much? What do you see with his turnovers specifically in the first half? I mean, I, I will take a look at all of them tonight, like we do. And, you know, some of them are, he makes a lot of aggressive plays. Um, and some of them are where he gets, you know, he bobbles the ball, turnover, or some of them. Um, thing I the thing that I will say that you know it wasn't always always the case he's not getting the the, the charge turnovers you know that he's, you know early in his career he was getting the charge turnovers he wasn't seeing uh, that and those are the ones he's trying to attack the basket but he's he's trying to make plays for his teammates so so those unselfish uh, turnovers you know what you can clean them up but the, his heart is in the right place uh, those are the ones that, you know, like I said, you can, you can live with them, but you know, there's too many, there's definitely too many, but that wasn't the, the only factor. That was a bit of the, a bit of the puzzle, how we lost, uh, tonight's game, but it'd be better, but we need to be better collectively as a, as a, as a defensive team, like we were the last, you know, 12 or 15 games. Hey, Robin, obviously you guys have been playing well um, over the last month overall. How do you make sure that these are just two games and that these are sort of a blip on the radar? Um, yeah, I think the big thing for us is we, we all realize, we, we've got to realize that every single game is important for us because we've been playing well for, you know, 10, 10 or so games, but there are so many games before that. And we, we know what kind of team we are. So going forward, we just have to make sure every single quarter we're all holding each other accountable. We're all pushing each other to be the best we can, especially on the defensive end. And how big were turnovers and how they were able to capitalize off of them tonight? They were huge. They were huge. I mean, uh, I think in the second, there was, a, there was a stretch where it felt like we didn't get shots up on the basket for five possessions or so. so and they came right down and they got buckets or free throws. Ava? Hey, Robin. Um, does it feel like there's any extra pressure on Thursday's game just because it is right before the break? And obviously, you guys would ideally want to turn things around. But does that kind of the scheduling matter at all of that? Um, maybe a little bit. But I think uh, by the time Thursday rolls around, People are going to be looking at it. The guys on the team are just going to be looking at it as another game, an op another opportunity for us to go out there and perform on the defensive end. 
And um, Scott said he thought it was your guys' de defensive disposition, I guess was the word he used, um, to describe the defense tonight. How do you ensure that you guys come out with the same approach? Like, where's the challenge in that, doing in that, that night in and night out, especially with such a young team? Yeah, I, I agree. We didn't have that edge of that tenacity on that end of the floor. And I think up and down the roster, people will uh, concur with that notion. Um, that's something that I think each individual player has been very good about holding themselves accountable for these this past stretch of games. And uh, that didn't happen tonight. I know I had a few possessions where I didn't step up on jaw during any pick and roll like I should have. I didn't help over like I should have. I think uh, there were too many possessions of, uh, like that from a lot of us. Kellen? Hey, Robin. Uh, you mentioned keeping each other accountable. I guess, how do you do that when, when you're, is, do you mean like during the game? Do you mean like after the game in the locker room? Like, how do you keep each other accountable? Uh, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's constant. Um, Pre-game, watching film, um, teaching in walkthroughs, shoot arounds, whenever we have those. During the game, um, encouraging and getting on guys, you know, both a uh, little bit of honey, a little bit of the cane. Um, and then post-game, going back, watching film, reflecting on what, what, what you just went through. And I know, you know, other players and coaches mentioned that Russ, obviously, is someone who keeps people accountable. Like, how, how has he been as, as a leader of this team in your mind? He's been excellent with that. He, he's been great with that. Brad's been great with that. Um, Mo is somebody who's very vocal on defense. I think uh, we, have, we have a few guys that have been really good at that for us. What, what caused all your guys' turnover issues tonight? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, they were real handsy. I think they got a lot of I think they were making it tough on us, and like being in the passing lanes. They're real super athletic. Uh, I think a lot of times we were sometimes careless with the ball. I know I had a few, had a few myself. Uh, but I mean, it's just, we just got to be better getting to spots, letting, you know, letting guys be able to, you know, see you're open. I think our spacing was kind of bad tonight. Um, and then, you know, just taking care of it. You know, there's a lot of careless ones. And then uh, being strong with the ball, you know, we kind of let them dictate you know, the game with their defensive energy. Um, and, and, and off topic from the game, I know you often say that at the end of seasons, you kind of use the time at the end of the year, like after it's done to reflect and, and look back and improve from there. Do, do you do, do you have any processes like that that you do over the all-star break? Uh, somewhat. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably not as like in tune to it, but it's like, okay, what, what in my game is, you know, not where I want it to be. What are some quick fixes, you know, that I can, you know, kind of dial in and really try to perfect over the next couple of days or over a break or really dial into over a break and, uh, and go from there. But uh, not, not like I do in the off season now. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Ava. Brad, um, you mentioned Friday that a, a big key in today was going to be coming in with the right approach. Do you feel like it was just mindset or something that kind of happened from the outset that uh, led to a lot of the troubles tonight, or was that not it? Uh, I mean, it's it definitely mindset, you know, because, uh, you know, they came in ready to go. I mean, I was hearing Dylan Brooks the whole night. He was like, I was prepared for this last night to see you. And, you know, that that's great to hear. You know, he's a competitor. He's always going to make it tough, you know, and, uh, and just, you know, you understood you know how they were how they approached the game tonight and I don't think we had that same mentality uh we were we were too laxed and uh we let them pretty much control control the, the intensity of the game you know we got to be better at that uh you know we, we we didn't build on the last nine we just had because of Thursday's game being scheduled right before the all-star break is there any extra pressure on that game to kind of get in a win or does that not uh matter at all to you guys well, Avery, you know it matters, uh, but it's it's definitely the toughest games are always the ones right before the break and right after the break because everybody's so looking forward to you know getting out of here or doing whatever they need to do for break. But you know you have to understand that you know great teams and you know they embrace these times and these wins right before the break, you know serving as momentum for the second half of the year. Uh, so this team actually kicked our ass early, you know, a few weeks ago in the Clippers. So. Uh, you know, if we don't have that same mindset, they can do it again. So we got to make sure we're ready to go on Thursday, make up game or not. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Chase. 
Hey, Brad, could, could you expand on the, the Dylan Brooks matchup? You said that he had done his homework. What, what's it been like re realizing that, you know, teams and opponents are, are kind of really studying you from game to game? I mean, it's, it's an ultimate, you know, sign of respect, you know, uh, you know, granted, I, I credit everybody that comes out and guards and, you know, defends and have the task of facing me every night. Uh, but, you know, I don't I don't give a damn who it is. You know, I'm going to try to attack him and go at him. Uh, but he has that same mindset, you know, and I respect him. Uh, he He's he's a gritty guy, uh, you know, and I mean, everybody, he's not the only one, though. Everybody around the league is starting to do it. You know, they know what the scouting report is, just, you know, keep the ball out of my hand or, you know, force other guys to make plays, just make it difficult for me to catch, you know. So I think the whole league is gravitating towards that. And, you know, he did a, he did a pretty good job of that tonight. Christos? Hello, Bradley. I would like to ask you, what was the biggest lesson of tonight's game for you as a team? And uh, how important for you is to finish strong the first half of the season? to the game against the Clippers? Uh, we have to understand that, you know, we can't take a, a game for granted. You know, uh, we're not in a position to give away games. You know, we still haven't done anything. I always keep saying that, you know, yeah, we're, we've won some games, but, you know, we still, like tonight, we had bad, bad habits. You know, bad habits came back up again. So we got to we gotta be better. You know, we, we, we have to be a lot better. We got to close out games. Uh, and approach everyone, you know, like it's your last. Approach everyone with a professional mindset that we're going to come in and win. You know, uh, I think they did a better job of that than we did tonight. And then, you know, we have to do the same thing after break. You know, nothing changes. We just have to stay locked in to what we do, control what we can control, and go from there. You know, we can't get caught up in who we're playing, who's playing, you know, uh, what team it is. We just got to go out there and compete. Neil? Yeah. Hey, Brad, Scott and Robin both talked about, you know, the lack of resistance on defense and they were kind of just getting whatever they wanted. What's the difficulty in trying to make adjustments during the game to prevent that? Uh, I think a lot of those times was just when we were, when we were saying we're, we're not showing resistance. Those are individual challenges. You know, those are just guys going right by us in one on one situations or in the post, you know, guys not standing their ground, just, you know, kind of getting back down and, we, we got to be better at that. You know, we have to be able to show some force and resistance. Like, that's what they do to us. Every last one of our catches, you know, is pushed out or, you know, it's difficult for us to get the ball or we got to really fight 10 times harder, you know, to screen somebody or get open. You know, that's 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 the type of resistance that we're talking about. Uh, you know, and it's not just one guy. It's everybody. You know, we all have, we all have to be better at that tonight. Quentin? AB, how would you evaluate John Morant's game tonight? And what growth have you seen from him in just a couple years as a point guard in this league? Oh, uh, he's a special talent for sure. You know, I have a lot of respect for Ja. His his professionalism and his approach to the game. He loves his, he loves the game. He studies it. And uh and tonight it was probably for the first time I seen him manipulate a game. He kind of manipulated us tonight. He kind of got what he wanted, was running his team. You know, he's was, he's was talking a little trash, getting guys going too. So uh, he's going to be a special talent for, you know, years to come. We all know that, you know, it's no surprise, uh, you know, but, you know, we, we definitely, we didn't make it tough on him. You know, we, we tried, we definitely tried, but he, he kind of got the best of us tonight. You know, best thing about it is we see him first game out there. And with the Clippers on the horizon, what can you take from last game, which was the last time you faced that team, which was pretty bad and applied to getting this win right before this break that you have? Oh, man. Well, one, don't even think about that game. Throw it out the window. Uh, we know that wasn't us, and that's not how we play. Uh, but understand that they are a championship caliber team. You know, they're going to come out and smack us in the mouth if we're not ready to go. Uh, and so, you know, we got to have the same approach that we've had, you know, the last couple games before this. And, you know, that's on a defensive end. You know, we have to show our intensity and show our identity on a defensive end. And let everything else take care of itself and definitely shoot the ball. We passed away too many open shots tonight. We got we got to be better at that.